Hi everyone, this is Kathleen from American College Strategies. I'm on the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. It is the beginning of June and it is finally warmed up here in New England. And I am ready to go into an information meeting and take a one hour tour of the campus. I've been at Wheaton College about four years ago on a really fabulous tour of the Northeast colleges and universities and it was one of my very favorite schools in the United States. And that is why I really wanted to come back today and film here and give you a little bit about the flavor of Wheaton. Wheaton is a small liberal arts college in Norton, Massachusetts. It has about 1,650 students. Wheaton is a test optional school and accepts about 62% of its applicants. And additionally, it is not only an early action school, but is an early decision school one and two. If Wheaton is the school for you, I encourage you to apply early decision. If you're not quite sure and it's on your top two, early action may be a really good option for you. You apply early in November and you hear by Christmas time. And it gives you a chance to come in the spring and spend some time on campus and maybe an overnight and really sit in on classrooms and see if Wheaton is a good fit for you. One of the other things about Wheaton that really stood out was their courses called Connections. Students need to take at least two of these Connections courses that are connected together that students take either both in the same semester or one one semester and one the other. An example of a Connections course would be an anthropology course in African culture connected to an English course in African literature. Another connections course would be a computer science course connected with a philosophy course which is about ethics. So there's an example of two connections courses and the professors work closely together to try to show you the link between the African culture and the African literature or the connection between computer science and your programming and ethics. So I'm going to go ahead into my information session and meet some admissions people and talk to some students and I'll come back and tell you what I found out. Well, I'm back from my information session and tour. I've spent two and a half hours with administration and with students. This is still one of my favorite schools. When and students first come on campus at the beginning of their four years here, they have a service in a non-denominational chapel just to my left. And in that chapel, they sign an honor code. All students here sign the honor code. And as they come out, they actually surround what's known as a dimple, a little dip in this quad here. They surround the dimple and each student light the candle of the person next to them till all around the dimple, every freshman student has their candle lit. And it's a little ceremony welcoming them to Wheaton College. At the end of their four years here, all the seniors just prior to graduation stand around Peacock Pond, light each other's candles and float the candle off onto the pond, signifying their exit from Wheaton College as undergraduates. What I mentioned is the honor code, and I found that really powerful here. When students sign the honor code, and when they take a test, when they take a final exam, when they do a paper, they actually rewrite the honor code at the bottom of their paper. Tests are not proctored. All students adhere to the honor code, and I don't hear that in all universities and colleges I go to. And I think that's a real indication of what it's like to be a student on Wheaton and a little bit of the flavor of Wheaton. When I was on the tour, my guide, a young man, is a history major with a legal studies minor, and he's from the local area. Another student I met, a young woman, second year, she is from Brooklyn, New York, and she is a sociology major. And they told me a couple of things. Both of them came in thinking they were going to major in something else or they were undecided. And it was really through their first year classes and what they call their either their connections class or their first year seminar that they were able to get a flavor of what was offered here at Wheaton. And it led them into what they 
found to be their true calling and their major. So I mentioned a little bit before about the connections classes and I one of the connections classes connects an art history class called castles and cathedrals and it links it with a biology class called cells and genes and what the connection is is how, what is the building of genes and cells and what is the building of actual buildings and how is that connected. Professors work together, they don't teach together but the professors collaborate on the design of the course so that students understand the connections between art and biology. Another program at Wheaton that is interesting, and that's really their foundations program, students need to take in the beginning is their freshman seminar and their quantitative class, but they run a little bit uniquely. So you're in your freshman seminar class, it's actually called first seminar, one of the classes called Keeping It Real. And that Keeping It Real is the intersection between black history and hip hop and how one has affected the other and hip hop has affected the history of the African American movement. So that is one of the classes you can do in your first seminar class. Another example of a first seminar class is We Are What We Eat. And it's a connection really about nutrition and culture and how food affects our culture and culture affects our nutrition. A professor teaches it and he has chosen the theme and he's trying to once again get students to think interconnectedly between different types of classes. Another class in first history is looking at the political movement through movies. A political science professor is the professor of that first seminar class and it's showing you how the political science movement and the politics in the world affects movie and movies affects politics. As I was walking through campus with my tour guide, another thing that really impressed me about Wheaton was their addition of a business administration and business management major, which is new in the last five years and really becoming strong. And that I think is put down as their new president came from Babson College and has really been in the business world and has made that a quite a strong program here on campus in business. An addition of a computer science department. So if you think in a small liberal arts school, you can't get business or computer science, know that that's not the case. You can hear it, Wheaton. Also, the art department amazed me. I went through an incredible building where um, art history, studio art, theater are housed. There's a 350 seat theater as well as a black box theater. And as I walked through the rooms, there were lots of little doors and I found it when I went in. There's studio spaces with the piano there and where if you are a musician, you can go there and have private spot for you to practice on your instrument. And I was also really impressed as I walked through, not just in the art building, but all over the art that I see. They have a huge collection of art that has been purchased or donated to them all over campus. And I think that gives you a little bit of a flavor about what it's like here on Wheaton. And trying to define what Wheaton means or what I was able to experience here, I think can best be showcased by comments from not only my tour guides, but students I saw here on campus. It was quiet because it is in the summer and there are no classes going on, but I just spoke to a psychology major going into senior year who is actually doing research for a professor here on campus. And my guide who is going into his senior year, and so I met two seniors and they really hate leaving Wheaton. That said a lot to me about the experience of a student here at Wheaton. When I asked both those students what other options they had, I mean, when they were looking at schools, it went from Fordham University to Duke to Dartmouth, to Smith. There were lots of other options and they came here to Wheaton and now don't want to leave. I think that will give you some kind of indication of the culture of Wheaton, how it embraces you coming in from wherever you are and wherever you are academically and socially and emotionally and really helping you to develop and be the best you can be and getting you ready to move on to your next stop. And because of the size of the campus, of about 16 to 1,700 students, each student comes here feeling they can have a real impact on the campus. If you could be in a classroom of 50, maybe one class, and then your next class, the next, an hour later, has seven in your class, 
you know the professor knows you and is going to call you and have you involved in everything to do with your educational experience. And that simply is Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Thank you for so, joining me in my tour. And I encourage you to take a look at my YouTube channel at some of my other schools that have been able to film at and take a tour of. But remember that American College Strategies, we're really here to help you take the stress out of this search and application process. So give us a call. We're looking forward to hearing from you.